Hey everyone, I'm Becky from Book Bit Reviews and welcome to another reading vlog. <laughs> vlog is because the reading rush is happening. So it is just past midnight, which means it's officially day one of the reading rush. I have some pretty lofty goals. I'm going to try to read six books. They're all either audiobooks or one of them is a graphic novel. And we're going to hope that we do the things. So I think my first book that I'm going to pick is the one for read a book that takes place in a different continent that you live in. And read a book that is a movie that you've already seen. So for that I'm reading Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I have it on audio. I'm gonna start it tonight right now and we'll see how it goes. Hey guys so it is the end of day one for the readathon. It is only 9 30 but I'm so exhausted. Today I had to work in the building and I'm just so beat. I have not been getting enough sleep and I need to just go to bed. So I did still have a pretty productive day today as far as reading. I've read 97 pages of Crazy Rich Asians. So far I'm really enjoying it. It is pretty similar yet there are very small things so far that are different from the movie. For me because I don't read a whole lot of adult fiction unless it's thrillers lately. I'm feeling a little bit bored but I'm gonna keep reading it. The only thing that concerns me is that I'm only 18% of the way through it and I need to get done with this book very very soon because I have so many other books to read for this readathon. I feel so productive yet unproductive at the same time but this is a rather large book. It is 527 pages. <laughs> Why did I pick this book? I did not think it was going to be that big. But we're just gonna try our best. See how it goes. I do need to fill out my bullet journal for the day, but I kind of also want to fill it out with you guys. So I think I'll just fill it out tomorrow when I get home from work. And I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, it is officially day two of the reading rush. I did do a little bit more reading last night before I went to bed. So let me update you on what I read for yesterday. So for day one, I started Crazy Rich Asians and I read a total of 128 pages. So I read about 30 more pages last night after I updated you. And then today while getting ready for work, I did read a little bit more. So let me get that number. So, so far today I have read 64 pages of it, which means I have 335 pages left. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> it's so much. So I'm hoping to read a really big chunk of it tonight and then hopefully finish it tomorrow. Today was my last day working in the building this week. So tomorrow and on I will be working from home, which means I should have more time to read and hopefully just an all around more successful week as well as a more interesting vlog. Starting tomorrow I will do some of the prompts that is for one of their challenges, which is to create a reading vlog. And within that reading vlog, there are challenges that you have to try to do. So one of them is to do a montage of you making a cup of coffee. Another one is I believe to dress up like one of the books you're reading. And then the third one, I can't remember. I wonder if I can find it easily. Okay, so the last one is to tell one of your favorite book stories. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do for that. So I'm gonna take today to think about it. And then starting tomorrow, we are going to do these prompts. I don't know if I'm gonna do all three in one day or maybe space it out. That may be more fun. So now let's go ahead and update my bullet journal for day one's progress. And then I'm gonna get back to reading. Bye, bye, bye. It is Wednesday. I was planning to update you a little bit sooner today, but I got a little too busy and that didn't happen. However, I did do a whole lot of reading today and I can officially say that Crazy Rich Asians is complete. I have just finished it on my way home from getting my nails done with my mom. It's complete. I will say that the book is very similar to the movie. There's definitely differences that made sense to make it more of a movie but at about like maybe 60 to 75 percent mark it turns pretty different from the movie 
and I was like really really intrigued on that part. All the rest of it I was kind of bored. I feel like a lot of it is like filler almost. It's just a whole lot of talk about money and real estate and housing and things that don't interest me so a lot of it I just kind of glazed through but the ending I was very very hooked with because it was so different from the movie so I really did like that. I think I'll probably continue on with the series. I think the other books in the series follow a different one of the characters. I'm definitely very interested to see what is going to happen to Nick's cousin. I may check it out. I don't know when. I don't think it'll be anytime soon but it's definitely on my radar of something that I really really enjoyed a lot. I definitely also really loved that there's all of this culture and food and and word usage that we don't use in English and it was really really cool to be exposed to that and I really really liked it for that factor. So as far as my star rating I think I'm going to give it four out of five stars. So I'm going to fill out my bullet journal as far as having a book complete. I can't wait to put it on the Reading Rush website. I officially have two prompts complete which is read a book that you've seen the movie for and read a book that's set in a different continent. We're making progress people. I'm so happy that it's Wednesday and I still have the whole rest of the night ahead of me to read more so I'm, I'm not freaking out so much anymore but yes. So I think I'm gonna start the selection stories. That one is only a couple of hours long if I'm not mistaken so I think I'm gonna do that and then I'm also going to pick up Romanov very very soon. But before I go I will show you my nails. Okay so my camera like will not focus on my nails at all but I have a green temperature change so right now that I'm hot it is this very bright green and then when I get cold it'll turn a darker prettier green and then on the ends I have black paint with this blue green flaking on it. I really wish that it would focus so you could see it. Oh there we go! Look at how pretty that is. I really really like it. So yes those are my nails finally. <laughs> so it's day three and I have not only finished Crazy Rich Asians today but I have just finished the selection stories which means three prompts have now been completed. I know, I know, who am I? We're making progress. Thank God. So let's go ahead and talk about how I felt about this novella collection. I am one that always feels that novellas definitely add to a series. The Selection series is one of my favorite series and I was expecting to really like this but on the other hand I don't really care for Aspen so I've been kind of like putting this short story collection on the back burner because it's Maxon and Aspen's point of views. I really really enjoyed Maxon's point of view. Aspen I was pretty indifferent to. I don't feel like I got a whole lot out of it whereas Maxon's I felt like I was like swooning the whole time and like really invested in it. So I think I'm gonna give it four out of five stars just because I really really enjoyed Maxon's. I think Aspen's had some insight to his point of view during the second book but Overall, I wasn't like over the moon about it like I normally am with novellas. I am glad that I read it 
and I'm really glad that I just earned another badge, which this one was for read a book that's the same color as your birthstone. So the cover for this is a light blue, which is like aquamarine, which is my birthstone. So we've completed another challenge. So it is just only past midnight, it's 12.07, and I still have some time that I'm going to be awake. I'm not ready for bed yet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start Ramanov by Nadine Brands. This is my book club pick that must get done this week. And I think I'm gonna listen to that while maybe playing Lego Harry Potter. But all right guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get back to reading, get to playing some Switch, and having a nice relaxing end of my night before I go to bed and then wake up tomorrow for work. So I will see you guys later. Ignore my hot mess top bun, but <laughs> I wanted to come on here and update you guys because I did a lot of reading last night. So first let's talk about yesterday's progress. I know that I told you guys that I finished Crazy Rich Asians and the selection stories, but I want to talk about my pages. Yesterday I ended up reading 512 pages. Holy crap, you guys. So I think I'm going to end up earning the badge for reading over a thousand pages, which is just insane for one week because I definitely don't read that much in a week. I've already filled out my bullet journal for yesterday. And then last night I started Romanov. You guys, I'm not liking this book at all. Right now my prediction for the star rating is probably a 2 out of 5. I think if maybe you know the story of Anastasia that you will like this more. My best friend is also reading it because she's also in book club and she's talking about how like this book is so stressful especially because it has dates and she knows what's coming and you know I'm I'm guessing that she is enjoying the stress, whereas I just feel like everything is so rushed. Everything, nothing is explained. I don't understand the magic. I really, really don't understand the love interest. At one point, there is this, like, head guard that they hate and, like, won't let them outside and won't explain why, just, like, cuts off their outside time. And then, like, the next minute, he's getting replaced, and they're sad about it because, like, oh, we've all been here for so long that, like, we've, you know, created this bond, and really the guards are more of our friends than they are our enemies. And I'm just like, wait, what? When did that happen? So I'm so confused. I feel like I have zero interest in any of these characters. There are some parts that are interesting, like, when that main guard it does get replaced what happens after that like that part was interesting but for the most part i just i don't understand why i should care i don't understand what's going on it's all telling instead of showing and i'm just not a fan and i have to come up with questions for a book club and i don't even know what the heck i'm gonna ask <sighs> i think this is like a pretty sucky book if you ask me <laughs> and i know that like that's probably terrible. And again, if you know the story of Anastasia, which I don't, then you're probably enjoying this a lot more than I am. It means nothing to me, guys. <laughs> I'm just not a fan. I will say what I am a fan of is our narrator. I really like her voice. I love her Russian accent. And I don't think I've ever had this experience where I really enjoy the narrator, but I hate the book. I do want to check, I doubt it very much, but like what if my audiobook is abridged? And if that's the case, now I have to reread this. <laughs>
no, it's unabridged. I don't know, guys. I, I was hoping that that would happen, and then I'd be like, oh, okay, so they're cutting things out. That's why it seems so terrible. No. So, <laughs> today, I'm going to finish up this book. My plan was to read Heartstopper Outside. I still would like for that to happen. I don't know if it will. I am going to be hanging out with some friends tonight, just two friends at a bonfire, socially distanced, being safe. So I don't know if I'm going to end up having time because I still need to work today. I do have tomorrow off and I can definitely read outside tomorrow. I don't know. I'll figure it out. You guys will see when it happens. I'll probably start something else tonight. So what should we start next? What else do we have to read here, guys? Oh God, I thought that that's what, what it was. Uh, so the next book to start would be The Shadows. Oh guys, I'm so scared. This cover alone just scares me. That's creepy. And it's gonna be at night when I start this. If I get scared and I can't sleep, it's fine because I have the day off so I can stay up as late as I want trying to get to sleep. Ugh. God, this is gonna be so terrifying. I'm so excited, you guys. Can you tell how excited I am? Okay. So yes, we will, we'll pick this up. We'll pick this up tonight. I am hoping though that I will still have time to do this. That would be really, really cool if I did. <gasps> oh, uh, I haven't opened up this book because I have the audio. So I just grabbed it so I could follow along for the page count instead of estimating with my audiobook converter. But there is a cover page that is so pretty. It's coffins and flowers. And I just really, really love that aesthetic. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, the book is so pretty. It's such a pretty green. Oh, I love that. Oh, I bet this is from, it is. Okay, so on the cover, I'll try to show you guys. There's this little stamp right here that says Town of Mount Pleasant Public Library, South Carolina, 4436, which is a property stamp from a library, but it's not the library where this came from because I don't live in South Carolina, I live in Michigan, but it's the stamp for where this book takes place so it's as if this was the book club's pick that month and that they borrowed it i love this so much i hope i love this and then i'm gonna buy a copy because this is from the library damn it i hate when books have to look nice i'm gonna go start doing some work i feel like i probably do need a coffee so maybe we will still do the coffee montage today that sounds good we're gonna do that done playing Lego Harry Potter. I feel so burnt out on <laughs> Lego Harry Potter. But I did finish Romanov. I'm still feeling the two out of five stars. So that's what it's gonna get. Um, I did, let me show you. I got a notification that the reading rush went live and it's because they're doing a read-in. So I still have time before I go and hang out with my friends. So I'm gonna start my next book which is going to be The Shadows. <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited about this. Not at all. <sighs> oh. So yes, I'm going to start this as soon as the sprints start, but that means I earn a badge for doing a live read-in. And then I'm gonna look at their Twitter to see when the Twitter sprints are. And I'll partake in one of those probably tomorrow. So yes, we're doing the things, guys. We're doing all the things. I cannot wait. 
Alright guys, so the live show is now over. I ended up reading 31 pages of my book, so just a little tiny dent in it. I am using a Happy Halloween bookmark because this book is spooky. I might switch to a different one that one seems like a little too childish but at the same time maybe I would like a nice childish bookmark when dealing with this book. So so far I'm just getting to know the characters. It appears that we're going to be alternating between a guy named Paul who is like our mainest main character. He is the one that the description talks about and then the other one I don't think I got her name but she is a police officer who is going to be investigating the newest murder. And so far, it a murder has happened and they've discovered the body. But that's like the darkest thing that's happened so far. Right now, Paul is has come back to town after 25 years to visit his mom because she her health isn't doing well and she's probably going to pass away soon. It's kind of him like slowly remembering things from his childhood. And while nothing terrifying has happened yet, I just have this just like deep-seated foreboding that something is going to happen soon and it my anxiety is just like skyrocketed and uh, it's gonna be hard to get through this book but it's really interesting and I like crime and dark books so I'm really really excited for the live show I was physically reading. I have the audiobook so I'm going to switch to that. I'm hoping that it has a full cast or at least two narrators, one female and one male for the two different characters because the chapters don't say whose point of view it's going to be in. It's pretty easy to tell whose point of view it is but I, I can't stand it when they do that so I'm hoping that the audiobook is two different narrators so that way it's for sure who's talking. Yes, I'm excited Super nervous though. Like already I'm creeped out and nothing's really happened. So why am I doing this? Why did I decide to do this to myself? Hey guys, it is Friday, my first day off. Very excited for it. So today I've been kind of taking my time. I did a lot of reading last night and today ever since I woke up, I've just been like kind of lounging around in bed. I showered, I uploaded a vlog and now I'm going to do some reading. So last night I did read some more of The Shadows. I'm about 60% of the way through this book. I'm on page 183. So I'm making really, really good progress. So far, I'm not scared. It's just very dark and mysterious. I think though that there's going to be a point where I do get scared because I think we're going to find Charlie. I'm really hoping that this book doesn't take a paranormal twist. I'm hoping it stays realistic. I love paranormal as you guys should hopefully know by now but when it comes to books that are taking place in the real world the entire time and then they end with like it's because aliens really exist. Dun dun! Like I don't like that. It feels cheap to me. So I'm really hoping that this book doesn't try to do some kind of like paranormal twist to do the ending. I'm hoping it stays real. Not to say that paranormal things aren't real because I don't know. I believe in ghosts. But anyways, <laughs> from what I'm learning is that when they were kids, they were trying to lucid dream and dream together and make things happen in real life through their dreams. So I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't turn out where like, he really did escape to the unknown with the shadow man. You know, like I, I really hope that it is just like, no, Charlie is psychotic and he kills people. I, or talks other people into killing people. So I'm hoping it's that, but we will see. But I wasn't scared even though I read it last night at night, but I'm thinking I'm gonna get scared soon. So my plan today is I'm going to eat some food. I got Tropical Smoothie delivered because they're doing free delivery right now and I'm starving. I realized that yesterday I hardly ate and now I'm like, literally starving. So I got tropical smoothie so I didn't have to wait so long to eat. So that's what we're going to do. Then I'm going to go outside of my porch and I'm going to read Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. 
I just looked up how to read Heartstopper for free because it is online but there are physical copies that you can pay for. I couldn't get a physical copy from my library. I want to read the free e-edition and I looked up how you can do it. So it is on Tumblr, it's on a site called Tapas, and then it's on Webtoons, which Webtoons is an app that I heard through Instagram and they are a online comic place. If you've ever heard of Wattpad, it's like that, but for comics. So it's a, an app that I already have on my phone and I really, really love. If you end up downloading Webtoons in order to read Heartstopper, which you should, because I've heard it's amazing, but I'll let you know for sure if you should read that. But if you do that, you should definitely check out the webcomic called Lore Olympus. It's amazing. I love the artwork so much. I really need to catch up. I'm very, very far behind, so that may be something I do once the reading rush is over. But... It's right here on Webtoons. I've had it, I've had access to it this entire time without even knowing. So whatever, we're gonna do it. The only thing though is that there are five chapters on Webtoons and I think from what I'm gathering is that the physical book one is all of chapter one and then book two is chapter two and I think book three is chapters three and four. So I think number five has not been produced physically yet. So I think I just need to read chapter one in order to read the physical copy. So that's what we're gonna do. I think I'm going to contact somebody who has read Heartstopper and be like, can you please just tell me what happens on the last page so that I know that I, I stopped at the right part. <laughs> so I may also do that and see if somebody will respond. We'll see. But we're gonna eat, read Heartstopper outside, and then play Lego Harry Potter while listening to The Shadows. So I'm gonna go before I, I don't know, pass out. Okay guys, I had to give you a food update. So I have hardly ever gotten food from Tropical Smoothie, but I saw that they had this pulled pork, oh my god, Peppy just sneezed, how adorable. They have this pulled pork quesadilla with barbecue ranch sauce. So I decided to get it. I did get a regular just chicken quesadilla on the side in case this was awful, but holy crap, you guys. This is like one of the best quesadillas I've ever had. The pulled pork is so soft, just falls apart in your mouth. It tastes amazing. And for me, I cannot do anything spicy. So of course I took off the jalapeno stuff that was on it. I took off the pineapple, salsa because I'm pretty sure that that's spicy. So it's literally just pulled pork and cheese with this barbecue ranch and it is amazing. I'm probably going to be getting this all of the time. Hopefully it never goes away. But all right, back to eating and watching Designated Survivor so I can read. I just got done reading Heartstopper. It was so, so good, you guys. I really, really like it. I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. It's my first five-star book of The Reading Rush. I loved it a lot. It was really cute. I really like the art style and the storytelling. I like that there are trigger warnings for things, and I just had a really, really good time. So I stopped in the middle of chapter three, and I believe I have officially read all of book one and some of book two. It seems like book one is chapters one and two. When I got done with chapter one, it didn't feel like that would be where the first book would end. So I kept reading through chapter two and then started reading chapter three. I did tweet out to see if anybody knew where it ended and Nobody got back to me yet. On Goodreads, it says that book two is all of chapter three. So I think I'm covered. But yeah, it was really, really good. I loved it a lot. So now, it's another book done for the reading rush. Let me see how many prompts I have done now. 
Alright, so for my reading challenges, I have five of them complete. I only have two more to do, and I'm almost done with the next one, which would be for the shadows, which is to read your least read genre, which for me is horror. I'm going to play some Lego Harry Potter, hopefully finish my book. The only thing is, I feel a little bit like I'm getting a little bit burnt out on reading, which is not good. It's not good at all. A little worried, <laughs> a little concerned. But I think I can at least stick it out until I finish The Shadows. And then I think when I finish that, I probably won't start the next book until tomorrow or just take some kind of like little mini break in between reading. Because so far I've just been like back to back nonstop reading, which is amazing and really great for the reading rush. But I'm just feeling a little burnt out. And that's never good, especially during a readathon. So now I'm going to play Harry Potter and listen to the shadows and hopefully not be terrified even though it's still daytime.